scores of people were displaced by a devastating storm in Otongati in Guazulu Natal. 11 people were killed. The cleanup uh, and uh, rebuilding is now underway. Our reporter Letu Mhluli is covering uh, the story and she joins us now live. Letu, a very sad story yet again in KZN. 11 people passing away in Otongati. Do those family members need assistance burying their loved ones? Well, Masako, it's a very sad situation. At the moment, we are in Makwaveni Township, um, just near Otongati. This place was hard hit by the tornado on Monday. You'd remember that 11 people have lost their lives, and majority of those people come from this area. I want to show you what the people are currently doing. Some are trying to rebuild, while others are just asking for more assistance from government officials, asking for building material. This is the result of the tornado um, that took place on Monday and in speaking to more and more residents on the side of the north of, of, of Durban um, they are saying that um, they need to be relocated as well you'd remember that last year we had um, an incident where um, floods took place and this area was also hard hit in 2022 um, the most hard hit area as well was northern parts of Durban so a lot of residents have been asking that if it's possible they would like to be relocated to safer areas. At the moment, I've been speaking to a lot of um, parents who are residing here, and their main concern also has to do with the fact that their children have not been able to go to school since Monday. As a result, um, they are missing out on exams because we do understand that it's exam season. And um, the, result, the, 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 the reason why they haven't been able to go to school is because they don't have uniforms or shoes um, or warm food for that matter. We've seen a lot of volunteers on the ground as well trying to assist those families that have been impacted by the storms and it, the number goes to thousands 